Hey everybody, it's Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com and the rules have changed. We can be the media and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can make a book just like this soft cover and this hard cover, new rules of marketing and PR, we can make books and there are tools that you can use on the web that allow you to make books and I made a book for my mom. Her blog is my mom's blog and she said can you print out you know 400 pages for me of my blog because she wants it in a hard cover. So I said, yeah, I can do that. But little does she know, I used a website called Blurb to make her book for her. Blurb has an application called Booksmart that lets you create the book on your computer. What I did was I imported her blog into Booksmart and then I could add all kinds of photos to it. And here's the book. Look at it. This is a hard cover book with a nice beautiful sleeve on it and on the back it has pictures and quotes um, you know whimsical ABC News now look inside the book it's great it's a beautiful hardcover book nice quality pages see that's what it looks like it's 403 pages and I paid $69 for this book and it's a hardcover book and you can control everything that goes in here. Importing photos. And I think it really, really came out nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's marvelous. Some problems with the editing software though. Throughout the book, on each blog post, my mom uses Blogger on Blogspot, it says no reply at blogger.com and that's because of a setting I would used on Blogger and didn't know. So I wanted to go through and do a global search and replace on that no reply at blogger.com and replace it with my mom's email address but there's no global search and replace. So that's one downfall of the blurb bookmark software. Another thing you can do is you can export a PDF to preview what your book's going to look like. So I did that and I looked through it and that was a good way to preview but they brand it with the blurb branding on every single page. That I felt is problematic to me because it's my content although I am using their tool. Blurb's not allowing me access to print out the PDF and then take that PDF to another publisher for example Lulu. So you're trapped into the Blurb Booksmart software. Once you choose to use them as a publishing platform, you can't really export that book template and use it elsewhere. That I, I didn't really agree with. So overall, I had a great experience making this book on Blurb. For some of the problems I had, customer support did give me a discount. So they were very helpful, very quick to answer my questions. One more thing, once you make a book, it can be either private or you can make it public on the Blurb online bookstore. So I've chosen to make this book public and if you follow this URL over to the Blurb bookstore, you can check out my mom's book online and they have this really cool preview function where it allows you to look at the cover and look at the first 15 pages of the book. There's the inside flap and then as you scroll through, look how sweet that scrolling is. So there's the, the Blurb Bookstore detail page 292620. Thanks for watching. This is Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com.